Shipped in from around the world to one of the main ports for solid waste, some of the millions of tons of scrap metal that China processes every year. Among the most valuable scrap, e-waste from the last generation of devices the world no longer wants, from laptops to mobile phones. In nearby villages in this part of eastern China, evidence everywhere of the hazards caused by recycling toxic components. A government crackdown on unregulated processing has forced recyclers to take refuge in concealed yards. A potential resource, but a pollution nightmare. It is a nuisance too for those people unlucky enough to live next to the port. The situation is worse now compared with when we moved in a few years ago. The pollution is more serious and it's very bad for our health. Well, more than two-thirds of the world's scrap devices find their way to China, an increasing amount of the e-waste being processed here is homegrown, a trend that will continue with rising affluence. At a plant outside Beijing, some of the TV and computer monitors on their way to a new recycled existence. Able to handle nearly 2.5 million devices per year, this plant is operating at about two-thirds capacity. But it won't be long before China's appetite for newer devices means the plant will be operating at full strength. The amount of e-waste keeps increasing. As Chinese people see their living standards rise, people are buying a wider range of electronics and dumping more of their existing devices. With currently less than 100 plants like this one operating throughout the whole of China, it is a sector that is set to expand. A new growth business making a living from outdated technology. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Beijing.